psychic with a T, the psychic with a T, that's me, that's me. The one with the T, the one with the T, that's me, that's me. When the planets align, spirit speaks on time, that's me, that's me. When the planets align, spirit speaks on time, that's me, that's me. When the trolls be gone, candle work be strong, that's me, that's me. When the trolls be gone, candle work be strong, that's me, that's me. I don't care what the others say, let's channel some energy today. I don't care what the others say, let's channel some energy today. Capricorn, Virgo, Libra strong, this tarot card reading about to be long. Capricorn, Virgo, Libra strong, this tarot card reading about to be long. Hi everybody, how are you all? Welcome to my live stream Twitch. Today we'll be talking about Sissy Houston, which is an interesting topic, but I have my reasonings. You, you always know I have a reason for doing what I do. Anyway, thank you for being here. Make sure you follow me on my Twitch. Hit the follow button on my Twitch channel. Make sure you also follow me on my Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Apparently my cat wants some attention. Um, at Lamar Townsend Tarot are my handles on all my social media platforms. Make sure you also hit the subscribe button and hit the follow button next to the, or hit the bell next to the subscribe button and make sure you hit all notifications when you hit the bell because I will post this to YouTube at some point. Um, if you want more content, check out my Vimeo, V-I-M-E-O dot com slash Lamar Townsend Tarot, Tarot, or become a member of my YouTube channel or follow me on Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, or TikTok. Um, also, if you want a personal reading from me, I am available for personal readings and I would love to read for you. I am a psychic, an energy channeler, a tarot reader, an astrologer. I also sew things. I make jewelry. I actually sewed this bonnet that's on my hair right now um, and I make in the process of making another one. Um, but yeah, if you want a reading, alright, um, or anything else, check out my website, lamartownsandtarot.com. This is my website designed by me, all right? And um, yes, this is my website. So once you're on this page, you know that you're on the correct site, all right? Definitely uh, go to the store section if you want a reading from me. Like I said, I do psychic tarot readings, astrology birth chart readings. Um, so everything is priced from most expensive to least expensive. I also do past life readings, as you can see. Like I said, I make scarves as well, alright? I make face masks, gator face masks. Um, I also do candles as well, and I make bracelets. So if you would be interested in any of those things, check out my website, lamartownsendtarot.com. Hi, everybody. Hi, Revolving Love. How are you? Blessings, meowing. Lamar is extremely talented. Thank you, Revolving Love. I appreciate that. Yes, um... Make sure you all follow me. So, before I get into that, actually, really quickly, let me just show you all everything. So, you see the lovely scarf behind me. This is on sale currently. Honestly, if I weren't selling it, I would keep it for myself because this is like, I feel like this is going to be in season soon. Y'all watch. This is going to be in season soon. Come springtime, watch. Anyway, also... <clears throat> It's a little bit too out there. It's a little bit maybe too like 90s or 1950s. But it's going to be back in season. Watch. Face masks on sale. They're gator face masks till they go over your head. They can also act as a scarf, a headband, especially if you have long hair. Um, so really, really good. They cover your entire face. They, you know, cover your neck so they keep you warm. All right. And they are stretch fabric too, so they do stretch. Okay. Um, also, evil eye bracelets on sale as well. Protect yourself from the evil eye. And rose quartz bracelets on sale as well. Attract some love into your life. Alright, so yeah, there's a lot of moving factors. For the rest of the night, I'll be doing a lot of sewing. Can you guys hear the rain outside? It's raining. beautiful yeah so okay we're gonna talk about sissy houston in today's video and the reason why 
we're talking about Sissy Houston is because I actually had a dream. And the reason why I decided to come here on Twitch is because we talked about dreams on Twitch. Maybe, I don't know, like a month ago. Do you, do you remember when we talked about dreams? Um, and maybe it wasn't even that long ago. It might have been more recent than a month ago. But we talked about dreams. And I talked to you all about how, like, I've been, like, having premonitions in my dreams. And I'm also pretty sure, sure I'm sorry, you guys. I have on so many different, like, crystal necklaces. Uh, it's like... <laughs> They're, like, overlapping each other, so... I'm trying to figure out how is this overlapping. Oh, God. Does this ever happen to you where you have on so many necklaces that... <laughs> they just kind of all jumble together? Okay, well, we'll just wear it like that, so... It is what it is. Sorry, you guys. Technical difficulties... Also, I'm a Virgo rising, so if I see anything out of place, that's, like, what I focus on. Oh, my God. Oh, I think this is, like, fabric from sewing. Okay. Oh, all right, you guys. What was, I, what was I talking about? I was talking about dreams. It's raining in ATL not that long ago. I was talking about dreams. And I was telling you all how I've been, like, having premonitions in my dreams lately and how um, I was, was going to tell you the next dream premonition that I had. So, I had another one last night. Actually, I had another one before that, but I guess I just forgot to come on and talk about it. Also, it was just really scary because it was gang-related, but it ended up coming true. Nonetheless, this is the most recent one I had. I had a dream that, well, first of all, I saw R.I.P. Sissy Houston. Now, if you know anything about Sissy Houston, she's the mother of Whitney Houston. So I saw R.I.P. Sissy Houston, and then I saw an obituary for Sissy Houston. And it kept coming to me, you know, it kept, like, and something kept saying me, like, write this down, write this down, like, you know, so I was, like, half in a, half in a sleep phase, half in a dream phase, like, you know, so I decided to just get up. And not just write it down, but also post it on social media, on um, Instagram. So I'm going to show you all the posts I did. But that was my newest dream premonition. And also I had a dream, but, well, but I had two, all right? The second one was the new Scream movie, Scream 5, um, horror movie, coming out in 2022. I saw that there's at least going to be four major killings. And one of them, I think, is going to be, like, one of the main characters, like Dewey or Sydney or whatever. But that, like, is neither here nor there. We're going to focus on on Sissy in this, in this reading, all right? So let me go to my Instagram. It's right here, actually. So this is my Instagram, and let's refresh the, pra the page. By the way, follow me on Instagram. Um, as you can see, I like I said, y'all, I told y'all I go live on Instagram a lot. These are all my most recent IGTV posts. And, yeah, if you're not following me on Instagram, you're kind of missing out. I go live on Instagram a lot. Um, but yeah, so I decided to start doing, cause we talked about this on, um, Twitch that, you know, I have these dream predictions. So I decided to start doing, you know, kind of Lamar Towns and Tarot dream predictions on Instagram. So I said, um, you know, good morning, everyone. As you all may know, I also have premonitions in my dreams. Premonitions are visions of seeing something happening before it actually does. Here are my latest dream predictions. So I did Scream 5, you know, the new movie coming out. Um, I just told you all, I saw like four main ki ki killings, at least one main character may die or get killed, blah, blah, blah. But I once again, I saw Sissy Houston passes away, legacy lives on. I said, once again, it's written here, you can see. I wonder if we can zoom in. Oh, well, we can't do it on here, but we can do it on my, um, my iMac. We're on my MacBook right now. Anyway, I saw an obituary in the words R.I.P. for Sissy Houston. God may call one of his angels home soon, and this would be the beloved Sissy. Sissy may secretly be going through some sort of health issues behind the scenes that the family or herself is keeping secret. The holiday season may also be prominent in her passing in some way. So that those were my latest Instagram posts. As you can see, this was 13 hours ago. All right. Um, and I figured I'd come on and do a reading on it, because I haven't actually looked into it. 
I now have time, I have free time, you know, from the day at 11 p.m. to actually look into it. But I decided, you know, now is better than ever to actually look into it and see, you know, what was that premonition about? So let's see, is she, is is this going to come true? What What's the time frame? Why? You know, there's just so many questions. So let's see. Let's go ahead and cleanse the energies, you guys. Thank you for cleansing and clearing the energy of this space from any past readings. Thank you for opening up the channel so that I can get a good reading on Sissy Houston. Thank you, Father God, for protecting my energy, my thoughts, my mind, and my emotions. Thank you for protecting the energies, thoughts, minds, and emotions of those watching this video. In Jesus' name I pray and thank you. Amen, amen, and amen. Thank you for protecting, or thank you for um, protecting my space. Thank you for cleansing the energy of these cards from any past readings. In Jesus' name I pray and thank you. Amen, amen, and amen. Okay. Uh-oh. Um, So when I tap into Sissy's energy, I, I don't know, I haven't seen recent pictures of her, but I get a very frail, very much older woman, you know, elderly woman. Um, I see her wrapped up. It's almost like she's looking in TV, looking at TV, something on TV. It's nighttime. See, she's, she's like wrapped up. So I don't know if it's like cold where she is or if she's feeling cold. I don't know if she has issues with that. But she's wrapped up, she's comfortable, but she's like frail looking. There's something about loss of hair. Um, and I hear caretaker, so I'm wondering if there's like a caretaker. I don't know if this necessarily would be a caretaker that was hired for her. This is more so, I feel like this would more so be someone in the family. Um... My fear is, like, the virus, right? Because the elderly are, you know, the virus can be deadly to the elderly. So I don't know why I get something about, like, the fear of the virus, like there's a need to protect her from that, maybe. You know, um, corona, something like that. Because I guess her, her immune, she's already frail. Like, she, you know, her immune system is already kind of, you know, like, frail. I, get, you know, I don't know if it's weak, but frail is the energy I get. Um, but I get, like, almost a caretaker, a stay-at-home caretaker. It feels like someone in the family. I don't know if they're always, like, really watching her. I feel like it's like they kind of go do their own thing and leave Sissy to her devices. But I get, like, something about, like, I think she spends a lot of time alo alone. I hear depressed. I hear she gets very anxious when it comes to like spiritual things like noises, feeling like, you know, energy, ghosts, stuff like that. Like, I don't know if she likes that energy, but she is, she does acknowledge it or some like that's the energy I get. Like, if she hears something, you know, unusual, if she, she sees something unusual, it's like Whitney or so-and-so, like, you know, mommy, daddy, like, something like that. Like, you know, it could be her parents, you know. I feel that, too, for her. Yeah. So, um, but I do get, like, haunted energy around her. I don't get, I don't mean, like, she's haunted, but there's, like, there's spiritual activity around her, I feel like. But for some reason, I feel like she's equating this to, like, death. Like, oh my god, is it gonna happen soon? Something like that. 
So I feel like she's seeing signs that something's going on, something is happening, some transition is about to occur. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I do see. I think the premonition may be on to something. Because I'm seeing Bobby, Christina, Whitney Houston. I'm seeing, like, you know, how when when celebrities pass on, you know, especially families, you know, they, you know, the news, you know, and all of these news stations are showing footage and all the life and legacy of, you know, like I said in my um, Instagram post, the legacy lives on. Like, it's like something like le headlines like that, I feel. But it feels very like, like that. Like you know, we like we may not hear about it until she's you know transitioned, or it's like you know until she's like, sissy's been rushed to the hospital. But it's like, there's something with the timing of the announcement and when it actually happens or happened. That's what I get. But I hear laid to rest. So I don't know where Whitney is is buried, but there's something where she she could be like, and I don't want to say this. This feels very morbid, but I, I don't know. The dream, you know, it, this is all happening for a reason, right? There's something where I feel like she'll be laid to rest. The spirit wants her laid to rest. She wants to be laid to rest. I'll say it like that in your family. Whitney... Some, her brothers, maybe cousins, uncles, mom, dad, something like that. <clears throat> but I do feel like Spirit is kind of pulling her on the other side. Like, hey, you know, we got you. You know, we see you. We, we, we're around you. She's uncomfortable with it. But I feel like the closer she may get to her transition, the more comfortable somehow she will become with that. Like, I see it being more, like, comforting to her to see all the spiritual activity. Almost like right before the transition, I see something like seeing the truth beyond the veil, almost, you know, like oh, this whole time I wasn't crazy, this stuff is real, this spiritual, you know, these, these entities, these spirits are real, like, there's something like that, seeing the truth beyond the veil, you know, right before the transition. For her, but I do see Bobby Christina, Whitney around her, um, and I get like a brother or something like that, like an immediate family member. I feel like a brother, something about a brother. So I'm wondering if there was a brother she had that maybe passed um, or something like that. I also see a child that may have been lost in like embryo. Something like that. I don't know. I send Whitney or I send Sissy, you know, all my love in the Houston family. It is really sad because Bobby just also lost his son. So, you know, that would be not the best. But I also saw, remember, I said something about the holiday season being prominent. Maybe they do something in her honor around the holiday season. Unless there's a transition around the holiday season, I'm not sure. But that's what I see for Sissy Houston. Um, you know, the legacy lives on. We send her her love for good health, period. You know, like, do I want this premonition to happen? No. But, I kind of have to listen and trust spirit, you know. Yes, healing, exactly. 
We wish her healing. We wish her love, her family love, and a peaceful transition whenever it does happen, you know, as I know it will be. The angels will be there, all right? I don't know why I see Aretha Franklin. Weren't they like friends or something like that? I see Aretha. Hmm. Interesting. All right, you guys, that's my reading on Sissy Houston. Love and light. Um, her son's going to be heartbroken. I see a son. I don't know how many sons she has. One of them is going to be heartbroken. Might be the youngest, maybe. All right, I love you all. Thank you all for being here. Remember, if you want a reading, LamarTownsandTarot.com. I'm sorry to end on such a sad note. Um, you know, just appreciate your loved ones. Appreciate yourself. All right? And never go, you know, live every day loving life. Having no regrets. That's how I think I saw in this video, Okay? Love and light, you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Remember, if you want a reading, LamarTownsandTarot.com. I will see you in my next video. Love you, Twitch. Bye.